thank you so much for being with us this morning. You know, two months or so into the new job, off the heels of this approval on Friday of your new Alzheimer's drug. Uh, let's start with, you know, taking the job. You were the CEO of Sanofi. You did some sort of venture investing type mm -hmm. stuff in Boston. Why Biogen now? Well, you know, great to be with you, Meg. Um, you know, Biogen is one of the founding companies of our, our industry. Um, in fact, it was probably one of the first companies presenting here over 40 years ago. It's had some great people, great products, um, provide a lot of talent, a lot of inspiration, I think, to, to the industry, which has now grown so amazingly. So, um, you know, it's, it's had a few challenges in the past, and uh, we need to get it back on a, on a growth track. So it just felt like it was a, a great company to come work with, and it's, it's, it's actually a lot of fun being back with the team, I have to say. Yeah, so tell us about that, that strategy to get back on the growth track. I know you haven't laid out the specific strategy yet, but how are you looking at it in broad strokes? Well, you know, I think um, there's a lot of things that are underestimated at, at Biogen. Uh, you know, we've got two great products to launch. Uh, you know, we just had the approval of like Mecanimab on Friday. We have Zorenolone, which is a, a novel new antidepressant, one of the... Uh, first really new antidepressants in, in, in a couple of decades. And so that's already exciting because I think both of those products will be um, quite significant. Um, there's a pipeline. Um, there's a couple of products I'm really interested in. Um, I think there's actually more that we can get out of the existing uh, product portfolio. Cost base probably also is a, is a lever for, for growth for us because it's probably, uh, there's some things that we can do there. And then, you know, we have the, the capital to, to perhaps do some external growth. A lot of questions to dig into there. I have to start asking you about the Alzheimer's drug, of yes. course. You know, it, it got approval, but it doesn't have coverage for Medicare, which, of course, is a very important right. uh, cover, coverage partner for people with Alzheimer's. What is your expectation for the timing of when CMS might change its decision on that? Well, I think right now, according to the guidance, that they'll be looking for full approval. So um, the ASI just uh, uh, filed for full approval on Friday evening. Um, and then we don't know how long the, the FDA will take to do that. So somewhere, I think, uh, probably towards the, the uh, latter half of this year, the, the product will be reimbursed. There are some patients who have commercial uh, insurance, and so uh, the companies will be um, at least making the product available, um, um, you know, immediately. But, you know, sales will really take off once we get the, um, the, uh, the CMS approval. I see. So latter half of this year, potentially, yeah. CMS so that's a little sooner, I think, than some folks. We had Scott Gottlieb on Friday saying it could be 2025. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> who knows? But I think, you know, if we get a, 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 the approval, the data have been extremely compelling. You know, when you think uh, uh, Dr. Alzheimer found these plaques over 100 years ago, it's taken us a century, really, to show the benefit of removing those plaques on, on cognitive function. Mm -hmm. And, of course, your first Alzheimer's drug was Aduhelm. Yeah. Um, historic approval, but essentially everything went wrong after that. Are, are you still investing behind that drug? Does that make sense to keep investing in? So uh, we have a regulatory requirement to do confirmatory trials, and, and they are ongoing. Uh, our focus is now shifting clearly to uh, Lakembi. Mm -hmm. What's the partnership like with ASI there? You have the 50-50 profit <clears throat> share, and you're going to co-commercialize. How is that sort of breaking down? Well, you know, we've been working together, the two companies have been working together for over eight years. Um, we have collectively literally spent billions on these two, two programs. Um, you know, I've known uh, Haro Naito uh, for, for many years. Um, you know, I, I've, I think we have a lot of mutual respect and, and I think we have shared values. I think what really binds this partnership is our commitment to, to fighting Alzheimer's. And I, I think to a degree, Alzheimer's is a completely underestimated um, disease when, when I hear, well, maybe it's a little memory loss. It's, it's a devastating, fatal disease. And, you know, this is our, our, the first time we've actually seen a product that has, has demonstrated a benefit.